All right, this is going to be a quick little tutorial, kind of how to, um, just how to convert your fluorescent lights uh, from ballasts to just direct wiring uh, LEDs. These here that I got, they're um, Utilitech LED replacements, just the four foot, four foot tubes. Um, now there are two different kinds of LED tubes. You have these ones here, they'll work uh, with direct replacement or you can wire them direct. Honestly, if you're watching this video, then you're like me where you're, you're tired of messing around with the ballast. They, they go bad, you know, all the time. Here's, here's one of them. Uh, that was actually from that light over there. But uh, either way, so wiring it direct, you, you totally eliminate the hassle of dealing with, you know, the ballast going out, which is going to kill two of your lights at a time. Um, yeah, fuck that. So these ones here, like I said, there are two different kinds. Make sure whichever ones you get, it does say that um, you can wire it direct. So these ones here I got from uh, Lowe's, okay? I think normally they were, I, I don't even know, four or five bucks a piece, but they were on sale uh, I think I spent like two fifty or two ninety nine or something, um, yeah, something like that a piece. So yeah, but like I said, make sure you do get the right ones and like these ones here. So can be installed as direct plug in. That's fine if you're going to use the ballast or that's really what you want to make sure uh, you can use it to bypass the ballast. Originally, um, I bought the the ones that aren't meant to bypass i i was i didn't know honestly it's just i didn't know so i bought those bypass the ballast and uh plugged them in you know turn the light on and the light would just it, it would come on really quick um like a spurt and then go out and it just uh, you know um, i didn't know what the fuck was going on so uh dug into it and then found out there's two different kind didn't know that so if you do go with these, these Utilitech, like I said, from Lowe's, this is the item number there, okay? All right, so super easy to do. All you have to do uh, on a ballast, you will have your incoming um, black and white, power, neutral, okay? You'll have your two yellow, then you're going to have two red to blue uh this one you know it's already cut out but that was like i said from that that's just a two two bulb light now in here i have four uh four different sets of lights so uh, you know two there two up there but these they have four lights so they take two ballasts um, up there, I got to remove them. They're all cut though. So what you're going to do is first you need to decide what side you're going to wire up to be hot. Um, you know, I chose down here cause that's where the power comes in. So the side that you're not wiring in, let's see if you can see the, it's kind of hard with the light. So up there you have two yellow, just like I showed you before, two yellow, two red, two blue, um, down here, wire them all together. So just tie all those together. This end where your power is actually going to go, what you have to do is just separate all of those so that you have one yellow, one red, and one blue together. Um, and then so you have two sets of one of each, one yellow, one red, one blue. One of those sets will go to your white uh, neutral wire. And then the other cluster will go to your black, the hot wire. Um, I don't know if I said before I probably did, but uh, make sure the power's off. Whether you hit the light switch or uh, shut the breaker off. I mean, you know, don't be a dumbass. Just shut the power off. It's common sense. So, yeah, once you wire the side that's going to be hot, like I said, one of each color. Um, put wire nuts, all that. What I would do, oh, and I also found out, just I was trying to test to see if I had a short every time I, I did each one, um, just to make sure the the uh, tombstones on the ends uh, weren't shunted. So there's also shunted tombstones and um, non-shunted tombstones. 
Mine weren't, so I, I can't really show you what shunted looked like. But I, I just wanted to test to make sure I didn't have a short, so I <clears throat> hit the light switch um, just to, you know, see if the breaker tripped just to make sure before I threw the bulbs in. Uh, I didn't want to blow the new bulbs. Um, but what did happen is on one of them, I left the fluorescent tubes in there, and it did blow, blow those. And I mean, fuck it, no big deal. I just turned the breaker back on, and... Uh, no big deal. So I remove those. Everything's fine. Whatever. So after you wire those up, when you pull the tube out, on one end, you're going to see, see if it'll focus. Uh, there you go. So you'll see an N and an L. Uh, just make sure that side, that's your, your neutral and your, um, your load or line. Uh, I don't know. Probably load it stands for. I don't know. But that's going to be your side that ties in to where the the um, electric is. So you can probably see they're all, all on that side where the power, where you're actually tying them in. It's kind of hard to film this, like I said, with the lights on. Either way, it doesn't matter. So just make sure those letters, the, the incoming is on the side with the power. That side's acting more, it's just a holder. It's just holding the tube, that's it. Um, that's it. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's really it. Just make sure, like I said, you separate the one of each wire, group those together, one will go on your black, one will go on your white. Down here, tie them all together. Easy, straightforward. It's going to be the same thing whether it's only a two light or two bulb light or, you know, in my case, it's four. Uh, you would just have half of the wires. So over there, um, sa same deal, just half of the wires. You're not going to have, um, you know, you won't have as many. So what's nice about these, they, you don't get the annoying hum from the ballast. Uh, you don't have to worry about replacing the ballast. You know, these ones are older. They're the, I think these are the magnetic, like they're, these are the fucking, you know, the heavy bricks. Uh, don't have to worry about those failing anymore. The the light, it's just instant. Right back on. You don't have to worry about, you know, the flickering and one popping on and you got to wait on the other ones. None of that bullshit. Just... Right on. Don't have to worry about it. Um trying to think if i missed anything i don't think so so like i said just uh make sure the power's off wire up one yellow one red one blue together and then each of those one will go to your black one will go to your white um down here on the end you're not using tie them all together the ballast uh you know just make sure you leave yourself enough wire to tie all those and these I still have to remove, but you know, take those out. Um, make sure you remove the old fluorescent tubes before you kick the power on and make sure your neutral and load sticker. I mean, different bulbs, there's so many different brands, uh, you know, that do the same thing, but, um, it'll indicate on which side you plug in to the power, like which side goes on what, just make sure that's on the side that your lines are actually tied in. Um, yeah, so that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, yeah, so thanks.